Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rod here from Rod Tarot, and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for August 27th to September 2nd, 2018. <clears throat> now while I'm shuffling guys, in case you're interested in a private reading with me, um, my website is written down below in the description of this video and you can go there and uh, basically make uh, purchase your service of choosing and uh, as it is the end of the summer the summer end sale is going on which adds 10 minutes to the 30 minute service as well so if you feel that this is going to prove kind of <clears throat> efficient to you feel free to go for it so um, let me cut here the the tarot cards and let's go to the um, spread itself now the first card for you Pisces is going to represent the topic of your week followed by the core of the situation and then we do have the challenges you gotta face <clears throat> and afterwards that will be the uh, guidance that it is advisable for you to follow for the duration of the week now the first card here what we do have this is going to be the three of cups very positive start it is what we do have because the three of cups not always kind of implement a um, a cooperative experience here but in case it does manifest as a cooperative experience with you it means that this cooperation is going to open your eyes for something and is going to allow you to uh, kind of um, relieve yourself from uh, poignant and noxious feelings that you do have so in other words the very least is going to give you the opportunity to share a heavy burden that it, that you are carrying deep down beneath, uh, in your heart but this card uh, actually uh, gives you the warranty here that a, a recent effort you have, you have put it in an undertaking of yours is finally start shaping into a fruit of your labor. So uh, literally you're going to find out that it worked it out, all right? It is working out and now it's time not, not to celebrate, not too hasty, but it is time truly to start, let's say, not exactly imagining, but being more calm and being more peaceful uh, and calm yourself down that things are really working out your way. Uh, the Tree of Cups is a very positive card regarding career and regarding relationship because it does not have any ill, kind of like your energies in it. It doesn't have any surreptitious intentions in it. It is all about, you know, sharing the good fortune and it's all about capitalizing on a very initial steps um, into one's undertaking. So, <clears throat> It is very important here for you Pisces to be as well carefree and not to be too much biased by the outcome of a certain sophisticated plans because the Tree of Cups as well likes uh, traditions and it does like simplicity either. So uh, whatever you are about to do for the duration of the week, it will be beneficial for you to just keep the thing simple and... Uh, especially when it comes to maneuvers and actions and by you keeping your maneuvers and actions simple it will be easier for you to keep on track and exert control upon that undertaking either career or either relationship and people will somehow start building up bigger trust in you and that is happening because we do have the chariot card that resembles your recent heroic efforts you have placed in that undertaking as I said the undertaking here is start giving up results and everybody realizes that this is because of your efforts not because some sort of a, a tremendous luck kind of uh, manifested into into the enterprises project or into the relationship but because you had the determination and the iron will to um, <clears throat> kind of like not lose faith should I say that way to have a clamor that this thing your career or your relationship or the project there friendship whatever it's actually worth it and it, it is not even about the old cost you have the faith that that thing will work out and that's why you never doubted yourself you never doubted your capabilities you never doubted the people around you and by you not doubting that that gave you strength to be the team leader here so people are accepting you or they are yeah they are accepting you as someone who truly can pull this thing through 
and uh, but the, I will not see any more favorable conditions for you uh, to kind of aim, not ask, but aim for promotion or, you know, for a bigger status into your relationship. For example, if this is about a person of interest you are just dating, well, that, that means here that your efforts to catch and build up trust into that person to catch even bigger and bigger portion of their attentions, uh, uh, attention is finally paying off. Therefore, uh, you can start building up or preparing for even a, a greater jump for uh, which may initiate a relationship, engagement, you know, marriage, etc., depending on your status. Same goes for your career. What I'm trying here, guys, uh, to say, guys, is that you did your homework, all right? And it is unlikely that something is going to catch you unprepared because the, uh, the hardest job, it seems, have already been done. And then the challenges that you need to face here, that will be the seven of wands in this card, in your case, resemble a, a foreign competition or a, a foreign, um, oh, I, I, this word just slipped through my mind, uh, interference, all right? Um, a foreign interference, uh, not necessarily with the intention to bring you down, but for some reason you are standing on the path of somebody or your undertaking here is standing on the path of somebody, certain portion of that undertaking, should I say that way. And uh, you need to know that... Um, the seven of uh, the seven of wands as a challenging card represents um, a small problems which are starting to escalate. So if you uh, if you want to uh, overcome the competition, it's not even the competition, but the infiltration, the um, the interference. You have to uh, you you have to address it straight away when you see it emerging. Because as I said, these kind of um, um, these kind of problems that interference is going to cause, they will seem very small at the start. Usually, they manifest as a uh, rumors, you know, as a um, <clears throat> some ill spo ill speeches as well in your address, uh, regarding your address, etc, etc, but they quickly escalate. What I'm trying to say is that you, rumor, become, uh, rumor will become a false truth, a, a fiction uh, that many people will believe in, that may ruin your renume, you know, that may ruin your um, integrity as well, uh, uh, for example, <clears throat> and uh, etc etc so these things has to be intercepted and they has to be addressed straight away when you see it instead of giving a silent treatment and instead of thinking that you know they will just go away on their own accord now you need to know that with the seven of wands your actions needs to be rather very drastic when you intercept that uh, that interference here um, you need to aim to destroy the competition the uh, the infiltrator your rival or etc etc straight away and give them no hope that they can do what they are planning to all right just to scare them out is not going to work because they will return back for what it seems with the seven of wands um, you have to be rather more drastic and ready for war should i say that way and the last card here as a, a guidance uh, of how you can capitalize on, on the good fortune despite of the um, attempt of interference of your good fortune and infiltration in your domain is the nine of pentacles pointing that you need to realize that you have finally catch up the big fish you have finally struck the deal of the century you have finally uh, how can i place found yourself into the uh, into the field of your life where you can feel yourself much, um, much more comfortable and unbeatable, undestructible, should I say that way. Because the Nine of Pentacles, it's, it's that card manifesting um, self-control, self-respect, huge portion of sovereignty, uh, lack of a self-doubt, you know, so that, that uh, exerts self-belief as well. And in general, uh, it, it exerts such a presence <clears throat> that uh, 
one seems it's very hard to describe one seems very in tune with the whole existence around themselves so if it is about relationship you know you will feel that or kind you need to believe that this particular relationship it is the very least something that you need to experience all right or if this is if this is about a career that kind of points that you need to believe in yourself that you are very capable to push with these heroic efforts establish uh, a team behind your back and reach a triumph into that undertaking because the very um the very profound uh, expression of the chariot card when it comes to the root of the situation it may kind of manifest in a way that you may think that that undertaking is uh, is unbearable and actually you cannot push it through you cannot pull it pull it through all right but you can it's it's just maybe that infiltration here making you think that um, that you are incapable but the nine of pentacles asks you to have a little bit more faith in yourself in your personal capabilities qualities and presence as well and um, now as the tarot reading is over let me shuffle the lenormand cards and see what kind of an, an event you um should look forward to uh, now as you uh, um, as you know that the Lenormands are very personal cards therefore uh, you should not ex um, accept that event literally what I mean is that it may kind of manifest with um, in your life with a very little magnitude or it will be a very huge magnitude it does depend on your personal situation but um, Again, do not accept it literally here. Uh, so the first card points as a stroke. That will be the stroke which points to a delivery or a, a new beginning as well. Uh, then we do have the clouds which is a diversion and um, delusion. It's kind of false opinion with the dog. So yeah, we, we, we talked about the infiltration and the interceptance here, the interference, excuse me, and <clears throat> that will be caused by a delivery of a, a false information here or a, a, a information meant to diverse you from your undertaking by a, a loyal companion or a faithful friend so it does look like that the jealousy and the envy prevails again and uh, the fact that we do have the stork you need to know that this information that it is given to you it could be sincere so don't be way too biased about your conclusions because the infiltration could be through a, a loyal companion of yours uh, poisoning their mind with fallacies and those fallacies could be given to you as well presented as facts so you have to be again very vigilant about the fiction that may come your way because uh, um, in a skillful um, in someone who is skillful with words um, it's very easy to present fictions as facts but before you judge your friend your uh, team worker into your career or even your partner into your relationship try to get to the bottom of it but that will not happen in this week this week you will be quite busy here capitalize on the very first fruits of your labor you know you just start worrying for that particular fallacy you are going to be delivered for the uh, in this week uh, when the time when you do have the time for it so that being said Pisces this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for um, August 27 to September 2nd 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video and don't forget about the summer end sale which which and adds excuse me 10 minutes on the 30 minute service so rat signing out now see you next time bye